In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a fancy 3D style book cover with GIMP. This is useful for all who sell ebooks and need a nice picture to put on their website or the web shop. The tutorial is intermediate level, you need to know how to work with layers in GIMP and how to use the gradient tool. Create a new image and give it a size of 300 by 400 pixel. The front cover. Add a new layer of 300 by 400 pixel and name it front. This will be the front cover of your book. Fill the front layer with the color, then add some text to it. Merge all the text layers down to the front layer, so that your front cover is one layer only. You can make the front layer invisible now, while you work on the other layers. The spine of your book. Add a new layer and give it a size of 120 by 400 pixel. Name it Spine. This is the spine or the back of your book. Fill it with color. Then add some text and rotate the text minus 90 degree. Merge all text layers down to the spine layer, so that your spine layer is one layer only. Make the spine layer invisible while you work on the next layer. The paper. Add a new layer and give it the size of 300 by 100 pixel. Name it paper. This is the top paper edge of your book. Fill with white color. Use the noise filter to add some random black pixels. In the RGB noise filter, 
turn off independent RGB, set the slider to 0.5. Use the motion blur filter to give the paper some structure. Set blur type to linear, length 20, angle 0. Use the bump map filter to give it a more 3D-like structure. For the bump map, select the paper layer. For map type, select linear. Check compensate for darkening. Set azimuth to 190, elevation to 45, depth to 3, and all other values to 0. The empty layer. Add a transparent layer, make it 300 by 400 pixel and name it empty. Creating the reflection. Make all layers invisible except the front layer. Resize the canvas to 300 by 800 pixel. Duplicate the front layer. Now you flip the front layer. To make the positioning easier, place two guides on your canvas. Make one horizontal at 400, the other one vertical at 0. Move the flipped front layer down. It should snap to the guides. If not, use View Snap to Guides to turn it on. Add a layer mask to the flipped front layer. Initialize it with white, full opacity. Now draw a black-white gradient into the layer mask for the mirror effect. Change the layer opacity to 70%. Merge down the front with the front layer and repeat these steps with the spine layer. When finished, make the background layer the active layer. Choose layer, layer to image size, so that the layer will be 300 by 800 pixel. The box mapping. Use the filter map, map object, to map the layers to a box. Select Map to Box. Choose Transparent Background and create new image. Map these layers with these box faces. Front, the front layer. 
Back the empty layer. Top the paper layer. Bottom the empty layer. Left the empty layer. And right the spine layer. Change scale X to 0 0.4 and scale Z to 0 0.2. Use Show Preview Wireframe to control the rotation. In Orientation set Rotation X to 20, Rotation Y to minus 25. Click OK to create the image. This may take a while. The Shadow Draw a path around the upper box. This is above the reflection. Use Menu Select Select from Path. Use Filter Perspective Shadow. Set Angle to 145, Relative Distance to 5.0, and Length to 1. Set Blur Radius to 20, Opacity to 80 and check Allow Resize. Cutting out the image. Cut out the part of the picture that you want to use. Now save it as PNG file. Load the PNG file and add a wide layer. Put the wide layer below the book layer to have the book on a white background. Mm -hmm. 